presentation, you can always look for my screen. Awesome. Thanks. I guess you can see my screen, you can hear me and all of the Right, so what I want to show today is something that we've been working at Consensus Lab, which is, I mean, for those of you that are not aware, we're trying, we're exploring sharding in Falcon, and the approach that we are following for sharding is that we want to do what we call the hierarchical consensus, where we have the root main Falcon chain that may be uh, potentially doing some catch checkpoints in other root chains. This is what Sarah is working on, and any user would be able to spawn a new shard from the root chain. So we could like spawn a new shard um, from the root chain, uh, shard 1.1, shard 1.2, and shards can also have child shards. So this is the, the architecture that we're considering. Right now, the only requirement that a user needs in order to spawn a new shard is to have some stake and to put some stake in the shard. But like what we've been building these past few weeks is a prototype of like sharding, the sharding architecture in the in Eurico, which is like the Lotus base code, but for, for, I mean, with a few interfaces and the coupling so that we can explore. And we have a working prototype with shards, with different consensus algorithms, where we have a, a, a shard actor uh, that is the one that, that like manages the, the spawn of new shards, when users want to join a shard, when they want to leave a shard and so on. These are the some of the of the uh, functions that uh, actors, I mean, the shard actor has right now. It has an add um, function to join, uh, sorry, to spawn a new shard. The join one, checkpoint, leave, and submit fraud. I mean, not all of them are not implemented right now. We only have like the basic skeletal to do add, join, and leave, and we need to do some design on what are the specific like the incentive system, the crypto icon, and so on so that we can um, like have a fully operational system. But the idea is that right now we would be able to spawn new shards with different consensus algorithm over Eudico. So for those of you that are interested in this, like Eudico will be public soon, but if you wanna see the code early, feel free to ping me and I can give you access. There are a few design docs where we are uh, discussing how to, to implement, uh, I mean, the, the, the design decisions that we're making behind this hierarchical consensus. And we have a few issues where we are tracking the MVP that we are aiming for the end of the year. And without further ado, let's do some actual demoing. Um, so here I have, I mean, I'm not cheating. This run script, the only thing that it does is it starts a new peer with a delegated consensus. I'm using delegated consensus for, uh, for demo purposes. Uh, the delegated consensus is what it does is that it assigns one miner to create a new blog every second. And what we're gonna do is spawn a new shard that has proof of work. So from this root network that has delegated consensus, we're gonna spawn a new shard um, that runs a proof of work consensus. So here we're gonna start, um, we're gonna start one peer and a second peer here. We're gonna connect them. that they see each other and, and I can still mine it. Like here I'm starting to mine in the main chain, the delegated consensus. So, I mean, it's nothing new happening here. They're just syncing their chains and, and we're mining from this, from this peer. So now what we're gonna do is from the first peer, we're gonna spawn a new shard. So if you see in Eudico, I mean, if you download the Eudico base code, you'll see that in Eudico sharding, we have some fancy new commands like add, join, list shards and leave which are the ones that we have currently implemented. And we're gonna start, uh, we're gonna add a new test shard that is running the consensus number one, which is proof of work. Right now we only support proof of work and delegated consensus, but we are right now integrating also the Python consensus so that we can, we'll see how, <laughs> so that we can have like child chains that have delegated consensus. Um, so we are gonna add a new shard. Uh, this sends a transaction to the shard actor asking for, for adding the shard and putting some stake, we put to fill for stake in order for a shard to become active right now the, the first hole is one but we'll need to figure out the, the right numbers for this uh we want to do actually we want to have uh policies so that the ones that start the shard can choose what kind of security assumptions they have in their in the shard and we see here like we i think we missed it but if we go here top left you see that at one point when the the state changed 
we see that um, there was a genesis for a new shark created. So we started a new pub sub topic to uh, to and a new mempool for the chain. We started a new chain, and now we are mining in two chains in parallel from this peer. And to show that this is actually happening, let's stop mining here. We see that we see that the demo. Oh no, this proof of work so it's not at fast, but we see that. This guy is still mining in the shard chain, and this one, as it hasn't joined the shard, is sinking nothing. So now let's keep mining and let's join from the other peer. So we start mining again, and here we're gonna wait. I'll probably need to give some funds to this guy. And import the wallet, and now we are going to join. So we do uh, Eurico sharding join and the name of the of the of the shard and the amount of stake that I want to have. Actually instead of like putting one, we're gonna put 0 0.1 because one is the threshold in order to be able to become a miner in the shard. So we're gonna join without being an, a miner so that we are only going to be part of the shard and sing with the chain but not be a fully miner in the shard chain. And again, like let's wait for the finality and eventually I should start syncing with the see. So I'm starting to the initial sync and now I'm part from this peer and part of the chart. If I stop mining here again, we see that these guys should eventually yeah, mine a proof of work block and here I'm syncing in the other chain also. So now we're, we're syncing to two chains from both peers in parallel. If I add additional stake, so instead of one, we add additional stake. Now we can, I mean, we're gonna become a miner because we are over the threshold in order to become a miner in the shard. And if when I know, so yeah, actually that happened. And now you see that I'm also mining from, I mean, uh, proof of work blocks from this peer for the shard chain. And uh, yeah, so we could also like check how much has been staked and the, and the, the shards that are in the system already. We see that here is a proof of work shard with 3.1 fill state. And we could even uh, make uh, send the same way that we, let's do it from this one so that I can reuse the, the comment, but like the same way that we did a, an exchange from one peer to the other in the main chain, we can do the same uh, in the child chain. Right now there is no inter, and, and you'll see in a moment, why there's no inter shard communication. So uh, like there are two independent shards that they don't have communication between each other. We see that here we are, um, once the proof of work block is accepted in this child chain, the exchange is effective. And we could even like check the, the amount of fields that I have in each chain. Again, like there's no moving of fields yet between shards and, and networks because we haven't figured out the protocol. But like you see that I have 55 here because I is the one where I'm mining we, in proof of work. And if I remove the shard and I check my balance in the main shard, I only have the ones that I initially set. So this H.8 after the stake and so on. And finally, like let's leave the shard and show that I stopped mining and I'm stop, I stopped like messing around with the channel chain. So here, once the block is final, we see that we stop. I mean, we can stop mining here. And we see that the, we are not no longer uh, mining in the in the shard chain, and uh, but the, the as here we have enough stake still for the shard to be active. We have uh, we are still uh, running the shard with proof of work, and if this guy leaves, probably the shard should be killed. So let's take this guy, and we should remove completely the. Which I need to mine because the shard actually is in the main. And eventually, once finality happens, yeah, I stopped. Like, this is where I'm closing all of the pops up, like removing the handlers and so on. And if I list the shards, you, you see that we don't have any shards active anymore. And that's it. I think I'm on time 30 seconds. Yes. <laughs> Thanks.